Hey guys, uh, Mom Running Kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, as always, you know me guys, I will give my view, review, slash recap on this week's uh, past episode of Young Justice that aired uh, Friday, uh, episode 15, entitled Humanity. Uh, this episode was directed by Mark. Uh, Matt Youngbird and written by Greg Wiseman and this episode basically picks up right where episode 14 left off basically as well as the previous episodes uh, trying to find Red Tornado what happened to him where did he go and the team is a little battered and bruised from their battle with the Injustice League and I, I wouldn't blame them if they weren't because I mean that was a tough fight for them. That was probably the biggest challenge. Uh, the date, of course, as always, October 10th. And uh, the team is just sparring, uh, training with Black Canary. Um, Wally is having uh, Captain Marvel basically be his servant because uh, Wally got a broken arm. Uh, and um, next thing you know, uh Giovanni Zatara comes into the Mount Justice and next you know he goes to the like machine to like enter like uh, there's going to be a guest coming in and who do we see Zatanna his daughter yes Zatanna made her her young justice debut and they made her really they made her young they made her about the same age as I say as the same ages as the kids, you know, they were, she was a little younger in this, but I didn't mind, you know, this is not the same world DC universe that we all know. So that was okay. Um, the team still wants to find Red Tornado. They definitely want to find him and they, they basically sneak out. They sneak out of Mount Justice and Zatanna comes with them. She's like, I want, I'll, I'll go. And, uh, they they pay a visit to Dr. Ivo. And Ivo is basically saying, you know, I'm not telling you anything. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. But uh, all of a sudden, Zatanna does a spell and he starts ramming along. You know, it was kind of cool because Ms. Martian tried to, you know, telepathically get in his mind. And he's like, yeah, I've, I've dealt with telepaths before. You can't break me. So Zatanna just said something in backwards you know her usual thing that's how she does her magic spells and uh <laughs> she basically had him rolling but in the meanwhile hugo strange is watching it so there you go leading up to something um in the meantime we see dr Tio morrow the creator of red tornado rebuilding him or just taking him apart uh, Red Tornado can't talk. His vo vocal cords, have been, vocal box has been mis taken out, and you see his other brothers as well. And uh, once, then all of a sudden, we see once again, we we head back to the kids, and they're they're flying to the location of where they might find Red Tornado, and we still starting to st still see Superboy saying, you know that. That machine almost got us killed. You know, how can we trust him and everything like that? And Aqualad's basically saying, you know, it, it's not his fault. You know, it's his programming. He can't help what his creator made him do, things like that. And uh, he turns to Superboy. is like, you of all people should understand that. Basically being Superboy was created by Cadmus and, and used to be a weapon himself. So I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really cool to express that from Aqualad to express that to Superboy. And uh, even back, we go back to T.O. tomorrow and he's talking about how his androids were heroes back in the days. We got to see little images of the JSA, which was cool. Um, and then we also see him basically meeting, creating a new robot, Red Volcano. The next in the, the Red family. Uh, and uh, 
finally, uh, basically, he activates uh, red, uh, red, uh, red volcano, and basically, it turns on him, it and kills his creator. But he he recognized that his creator was an android, um, and his job now he became to the point he wants to destroy the world. He wants to destroy the world, and that's when the kids finally tracked them down. They tracked they track to Yellowstone National Park, and uh, they meet Red Tornado, and he basically takes them all out. You know, you know, basically look like once again he was he was actually a traitor. You know he. But what what we didn't see was he was actually warning them at the end because he knocked them all out. But he wrote with his his wind powers. He wrote in the sand, play dead. And but Red Volcano saw that and he's like, you know, I have your program and things like that. You don't think I would know. And it became basically a battle with the kids and Red Volcano and uh the kids had a hard time on this guy. Once again, another tough fight. The kids pretty much got dominated. They got dominated in this fight. Red Tornado left the fight and um, it looked like he ran away or he was with them. But he went back to the the lab to get his brother and sister to come fight for them. And they're like saying, why should we help the humans? We're not humans. We're, you know, and Red Tornado's like, yes, but you're, you were heroes and we're still heroes you know they both of these two red torpedo and red tsunami and all of them they were um they were in human form to be heroes and they acted as heroes back in the 30s and finally they came and they they fought red volcano and they took them down into uh they fought in the volcano and they melted they all melted they basically the they managed to melt him down to magma. Uh, Red Tornado was basically Red Tornado was gonna sacrifice himself as well. Uh, had a little bit of a Terminator feel to it, like my bro said. And uh, when you saw them melting, um, and but Red Tornado was saved by Superboy. Okay, and because of what Red Volcano did, it was going. The volcano was gonna destroy earth basically if they didn't solve uh stop it so red uh red tornado used his powers and cooled down the volcano it was really cool to see him just showing you how powerful this android really is it's really cool and uh from there it was revealed later on that that uh that the truth was he left in order to protect red red tornado wasn't a traitor he didn't betray them he left the group to protect them from further attacks. You know what I'm saying? So basically showing that even though he's not human, he admitted that he does care about the kids. And he he the only reason why he stayed on as their den mother was because he cared. He liked being around them and he liked he liked the feel of being, you know, becoming more human. Hence the title of the of the uh, the episode, Humanity, uh, which I thought was cool, you know, showing that, you know, he's not just an android. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people discredit about a lot of android characters like Red Tornado and the Vision. You know, they may be androids, but they do have that human spirit that shows them that they do care. You know, even though they can't physically express themselves like a human can, but they did. He did show that he did care about the kids, and he won't let anything happen to them. Uh, which was kind of funny. But the funniest thing throughout this whole episode was that you know Giovanni's like, you know, where'd my where'd my kid go and everything like that, and Black Canary's like, don't worry, Giovanni, they're good kids. They won't no, nothing will happen. Uh, but before that. Um, Red Tornado went and paid his his creator who was dying. He was actually dying, and he goes to take care of his father. You know, basically to take care of him on his dying. You know, till he dies. Thought that was you know very, you know very touching. You know, scene. Thought that was not bad. And uh, basically, they turn 
to uh, Zatanna because Robin throughout this whole episode was hitting on Zatanna all all day. And uh, he's basically saying, oh, so I hope you come back around the team, you know. And she's like, I don't know. My, my dad might ground me for life. And then you turn back to, you know, nothing will happen, Giovanni. They're good kids, Giovanni. She'll, she's grounded for life. And she'll never join this team. And it was, and it ends right there. Um, but it was a good episode. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. Uh, a good way to sum up that episode but also the fact is I'm glad Red Tornado wasn't a traitor. He he did it for all the right reasons, which is cool to me. And uh, definitely, definitely a very good episode. Uh, the next episode will air not this Friday, the following Friday, November 4th. It's called Failsafe. But before that, guys, I wanted to give you a little bit of info on the second season which they they entitle is going to be called young justice invasion uh greg wiseman has gone on to say that the character of the specter will play an important role in the second season of young justice so i wanted to give you guys that notion on that i think that's great to hear that Young just uh, that the specter is going to be involved in season two. But other than that, guys, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed episode 15, Humanity. You tell me what you thought about this episode. And this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real. And uh, I'll take care.